It's just amazing. The wind shear and dry air across almost the entirety of the Gulf of Mexico, except this one little swath where the moisture is still holding on, and that is exactly where Ada was able to fit right in. The winds have been coming down slowly, but again, you put that in perspective, it is still doing some damage along the Florida coast because it's just moving so slow from Fort Myers to Sarasota and Tampa. Winds are at 65 uh, miles, five miles an hour with the forward motion uh, north at 12. We have seen it kind of weaken steadily since early this morning when it did briefly become a hurricane and then start weakening after that. Moving across the state quickly by tomorrow evening, the storm center should already be off the coast of Georgia and then continuing to push away from the east coast as a dissipating system. And then we're done with that one. We have Theta out in the eastern Atlantic, which is moving away from us and also an area that we are watching uh, storm uh, hurricane center is giving that area a 90% chance of developing into either a depression or a storm. Looking at some of the computer models, they're in agreement that this should become a name storm. Next name is Iota, but notice what most of the models are also doing is just moving it generally toward the west. So staying out of the Gulf of Mexico. I had to look this up because as I mentioned, we're getting deep into the Greek alphabet. Now Iota is the next name, then Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, and Kai. Let's hope we don't get that far into the season.